Wow, silver's over $22 an ounce. What does that mean? Was there just an announcement for some invention that needed more silver? Is there some new industrial use for silver? Nope, not at all. It's just people who have some money buying as much as they can. Uh, legally, you know, buying what they can buy and so they're not doing anything wrong. Uh, but it's, it's, is it the physical? Well, we know better than that because go back to March. Go back when it dropped three, four dollars an ounce and see how much it was selling for. Twenty five, thirty dollars an ounce. Everybody's talking about you saw the videos. Can't find it, can't get it, mine's closing down, blah blah blah. The demand was so much. It never even moved that needle. Not the Wall Street needle. No. No, it didn't. So this is all ETS futures. This isn't physical silver being bought up and causing it to go up. That's a very important thing to note. That is where it's separate. Now, it's not separate. We can't separate the paper and the, the physical. In your mind, you can. When you buy, you can try. But if you want silver at melt right now, you better be buying the paper. You're not going to get it for melt. The demand is still there. It's not as much as it was at the peak there, but it's still there. People are still buying it. I guess my thing is, is a word of caution. Uh, th there is a lot going on in this market. Computers, all the trading that's going on. So this reminds me a lot of 2008, 11, 12, when we had the Fannie Mae and Mac. Uh, the economy went into a, a recession and then it rebounded and people put money in silver and gold. I mean, you, you can do your research here. There's a little article over here and I recommend reading it. Uh, it's a Wikipedia, but you can find other sources that back this up. And trust me, it, it's the truth. But you had, there was an immense risk to the world economy. What are we having right now? Okay. The investors drove prices up by buying defensive commodities. Silver and gold's one or two of them. When the short-term risk were believed to have subsided, many investors reallocated their assets back into yielding dividend or interest investments such as stocks or bonds so right now now I, we're seeing the same thing happening right now a lot of people want to think that this is because silver's correcting itself we heard that before i wish it was and believe me i love the fact that it's over 22 an ounce i hope it goes higher i want that to happen i want it to happen naturally over a course of time but it is so volatile the silver market, everybody knows this, okay? And everybody's got reasons why this is going up. Everybody has their little articles and their, I mean, if you're, let's say Kitco, for instance, people are going to automatically go to your site and why is silver up? They want to know why it's up. So you got to write an article on it and then where's it going to go? So then you write an article on that. So I think City Group is saying that $30 an ounce is possible. Well, I think it's possible too. But then how long is that going to last? Let's say it would go to 100 here in the next three years. Do you think it's gonna stay at 100? I don't, I don't think it's gonna to go to 100, but I mean, you're gonna hear some people say things if it keeps increasing. And you're gonna hear a lot of pumping and a lot of pumping. Now, the thing about that is, is that after the pump, there's gonna be the dump. When is this gonna be sold off? So you have got to watch, don't get stuck. You know, there's people who back in 2011 and 12, bought it at 25, $30 an ounce, and they put 20 some dollars an ounce in their silver and they bought thousands of ounces, or at least I know some of them have some monster boxes. I bought some of them recently because the demand was up and they felt like they could maybe take a little bit of a loss, but they weren't going to take too big of a loss. Now that it's up, uh, the phone's going to start ringing. And there is a certain amount they said that when they got, when it got to that amount, they were going to start calling. They were going to unload it. They want out of it. They want to break even or make a little bit of money on it. And they're just waiting. Well, the wait's almost over because they're going to start wanting to sell. And this is firsthand actual people who bought into the hype and paid a lot of money for a lot of silver. And I know that for a fact, uh, you know, you people can say, Oh man, whatever, whatever. You're just a coin dealer. You don't know. No, you're right. I am just a coin dealer, but I do know. And that's where you're wrong. And you can debate me all you want, but do your research, look it up. Don't pay attention to people that's trying to hype it, making this apocalyptic thing and all this other stuff. Trust me. I mean, well, this world has been into a lot of bad situations, and the United States have too. You can go all the way back to the Civil War when 
coinage was a shortage. People were actually making tokens, and it became against the law. I mean, they made tokens in the, in the early 60s, all the way up to the mid 60s, so that you, you can buy something at a store. People were bartering and trading, and I mean, they were just hoarding. So this is not the first time we've been through things like this before. No reason to panic, and I think that's what I'm trying to say. So continue to buy your silver, do your stacking. Be reasonable, though, and also have realistic expectations of what's happening here. So I had a regular customer come in yesterday, and they had stacks of $100 bills in the bundles. And we were laughing about, hey, I've got my, here's some Fiat for your silver. And, you know, I made money on that silver. He knows how much I made. We were talking about it and all that. And I'm like, you know, it's going up. And he wanted to buy it at the price I had because I had it at yesterday's price, basically. I didn't up it up just because silver is jumping to 22. Now I'll have to because I won't be able to get it. Replacement value is going to go up now for me. So if I even have it, you know. And, and the point of it is, is, that, is it was kind of funny because that's how I make money in this market. I buy now. I buy it lower than what I can sell it for. And I play with the market that way. And that's how I make money at it. Everybody else wants to buy it and wait 20, 30 years down the road. That's just not me. That's not how I'm doing it. That's not how I've made. I made a lot of money doing it the way I do it. So I just have a different business model and I'm not a speculator. I think if you get down to the brass tacks of this and realize something, that the people that are making the money in this market, I'm talking about the millions and the hundreds of thousands or millions, whatever it might be, they are doing it how? They are buying the paper when it's low and selling it when it gets high. They're making their money now. How do you really make the money in this market? That's how these people are making the money. Would you rather use the rich as a business model for making your money in the market? Or would you rather listen to someone on YouTube telling you that it's going to go up to 200 and you need to get into it? Yeah, I'm listening to the rich. I'm going to do, I'm going to watch what they do. Atmex and JM Bowie and all these guys, that's how they're making their money. That's how they're making their money. That's why they're where they're at in life. Because you know, I listen to the people who are where I want to be. And like I said, the only way physical is actually going to meet this paper demand and to actually increase it is that it's going to have to be like palladium. It's going to have to have an industrial use that creates a huge demand for it to bring it up. Because there's all of us in the United States would buy it, and that's possible. But there's not a large amount of people buying silver and gold right now to keep the price going up. It, that's not how this works. It takes a lot more buying to move the needle than us, the demand for silver like it was. I mean, like I said, we already know the demand for silver was up. We already know what that's like. And we already know it didn't touch the needle. I mean, it just maybe what, a few cents? I mean, seriously, I mean, I watched it. I mean, it was selling for 25 and $30 an ounce and still is kind of up there. While it was at 14, 15, 16 an ounce. Now it's 22. Just think if you had bought, let's say when it went down to 12, instead of trying to buy physical, you bought an ounce ETF, let's say, an ounce of silver through that. And we're just going to use an ounce. Obviously, you wouldn't do that. But, I mean, let's just use that as an example. So you have $12, $14 an ounce in that ounce of silver. Now, if you want to resell it, you can make $6, $8 on it. What if you did that with a thousand ounces in in the paper? What if you did that with ten thousand? So you get the picture here. So you lost on the stock market. Now you can start selling your silver here eventually once it gets to a certain height. And once you start doing that, you can make back some of that loss. A lot of these people they lost some money in the stock market. It really dropped. I know a lot of people lost some money. So this is a way to recoup losses. And commodities is one of the uh, one of the main things they use to do that. And we're seeing that right now. Am I confident that it's going to stay up and go up even higher? No, I'm not. If I'm wrong, I'll stand corrected. I'll do a video on it. I'll say, remember back when I thought it wasn't going to be? Boy, I'm glad I was wrong. I'll do that. But I, until it happens, I'm just not buying it. It'll probably be five, it could be five years down the road and I'll be saying, well, I was right or I was wrong. But you know, it's going to be a few years. I think we're going to see this. I think we're going to see a little bit of a bull market for a while. Um, I think that's how this is going to work and pan out. Could be wrong on that too. It could drop to 15 next week. And that's why I'm very careful about this market. People come in here with a few monster boxes and I buy them over melt. And then next week it drops to a $3. And then everybody's like, you need to sell it. You know, basically I need to take a loss because it's dropped now and you need to play it. You can't quit. You need to shoot ahead. You should have been smarter. <laughs> I'm being smarter. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. That's why I don't trust it. I know what can happen. And I know what it can do. So, 
Hey, yay to 22 over uh, on silver and almost an all-time high on gold. That's great. I'm happy. I uh, just wanted to offer a perception on it and maybe what I think is going on. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please hit the sub button and have a great day.